grill. This is how you turn a cheap ass grill into uh, something pretty decent actually. Uh, the seasoning looks like it's um, working out pretty well. I've got this all turned on high here. We'll let it burn down a little bit more and then I'm going to throw some burgers on that guy there. Oh man that smells good. I've got onions and garlic and salt and pepper in the, in the burgers and a little bit of uh, of homemade flour of barley and oats just for a binder. Oh man, it smells good. Look at that. Holy smoke. And of course, you can't have a decent hamburger without homemade whole wheat buns. Mmm, and they've got a little bit of smoky bacon fat in them, and I can smell it. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, look at those buns. Oh, man, they smell good. Wow. Yeah, baby, yeah. Oh, yeah. So these buns... These five, I weighed out 100 grams of dough for each one, and the rest of them were 70, was it 75 grams, something like that, I can't remember, no, um, the burgers were 100 grams, these were, anyway, these five were one weight, and the other four were slightly smaller, and you can see they're slightly smaller, um, pretty damn good looking buns though, and pretty yummy too. So we get cheese, my son wanted cheese and pickles, sliced pickles. These are homemade dills, of course. And I'm going to have some homemade dill on mine, too. And I'll just eat that piece. There's my buns beeping. So my one son just wants pickles and cheese. The cheese is under there. The other just wants ketchup on his. I'm having pickles, cheese, and some Dijon mustard. Oh, man. That is smelling so good. Look at that. Oh, baby, yeah.